These men don't deny they're the fathers of these babies, but their own mothers do. What's going on here? It's all about the grandma. This baby is not your baby. We planned on having a baby. It was it was something we wanted. You think they look alike? Yeah, they look just alike. He's a liar. He's not the father. I'm you tracked my son. Yeah, okay? I didn't a lot of people. Is his mother right? Eddie. Albert doesn't deny Brenda's child, but Albert's mother sure does. Baby Al is not my grandson. She don't want to be his mama. She wants to be his girl. Yeah, you are a yeah, liar. Yeah. That ain't my son's baby. Look, nothing from the evil witch. I feel sorry for you. That's the only way it's going to be said. Yes, it sure is. Albert. And more paternity pandemonium you have to see to believe. They've been married eight years. Five kids. He claims he's not the father of any of these children. You're not my Pamela and you whatever. We're going to see. We're going to see. And this woman has no idea if her boyfriend or her boyfriend's stepbrother is the father. What makes him think that he's a better man to take care of Evan than me? You had the right to be there and you denied that right. Which brother is the father? Keith denies her son for one reason. He don't make boys, he make girls. Only make girls. Keith. You the hoe. You the hoe. No, you the hoe. Families in crisis that need the DNA results. Everyone, this is Eddie. And sitting next to Eddie is his girlfriend, KK. Now, you see, right now, both Eddie and KK are being tortured by Eddie's own mother, Grace. Who says exactly? You see, Grace says she's positive Eddie is not the father of KK's one year old daughter, Jada. What's going on here? It's all about the grandma. Watch. KK was just 15 when she met and fell in love with her boyfriend, Eddie. But it was clear from day one that Eddie's mother did not approve. From the first time Eddie introduced me to his mom, Grace, she took one look at me and said, I don't like her. KK and my mother, they have never gotten along. And it's killing me because I love both of these women with all my heart. Defying his mother, things got worse when KK got pregnant. And Grace immediately began to deny that her son was the father. When I called Grace and let her know I was having a girl, she hung up on me. My mother's denying Jay the baby because of the rumors she had heard around town about KK. She would not accept my daughter at all. To make matters worse, Eddie and KK are struggling, and Grace will not lift a finger to help. KK and I are homeless right now, living in the shelter. And my mother just wants me to get up and abandon my whole family. My mother raised me to be a gentleman and take care of my family, and now she just wants me to abandon them. I want my child to have a grandmother and right now she don't have that bond with her grandmother and it really hurts me so now we have and how and here's eddie caught in the middle he has the love here for kk he has the love here for this child and the love for his mother and you're caught in the middle yeah you can go home if you want no nah, i can't do that no no nah. why not because that's my daughter so it's like you're sure <laughs> We didn't just have sex, you know what I mean? We planned on having a baby, you know what I'm trying to say? So it was, it was something we wanted. So I'm not so, just going to so leave her. Why, why has your mother gotten so riled up about well, this? Well, it's, it's probably because, you know, they, 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 they never liked each other since day one. You're it's, a liar! You're a liar! He's not the father! And she said I wasn't right for her son. That's right. not Eddie's Anything. baby! <laughs> Well, I'm here to protect my son. All right. That's my son. I'm here to yeah. protect him. Yeah, right. my this is what Grace had to say. Gonna find okay. out today. We're going to bring her out. Here's what she had to say. AK, there's no more running today because everybody's going to know what kind of hood rat you really are. And Eddie, I warned you a thousand of times that this baby is not your baby. I look at the baby and I just have no connection at all with the baby. The baby don't look like me. The baby don't look like none of my grandkids, my son, nothing. Eddie, when the tests come back and they say you're not the father, 
Leave the hood rat bitch alone. Your mother's here for you with her arm. And for you, your little hood rat bitch, you better run away. Run away. Honey, here's Grace. KK love me, my moms love me, and I'm stuck in and I'm, I'm stuck in the middle. You know what I'm trying yeah. to say? I'm trying to tell my moms, you know what I mean? I, I wasn't just out there messing with any girl. You know what I'm trying to say? Me and KK planned to have this baby. Oh, you know Lord. what I'm trying to say? So when she get pregnant and had a baby, you expect me to just bounce and leave and come home? This is what I don't understand. Grace. I can't do that. Like right? Your son, your son, sixteen. Like I said last time, Grace, like I, your son, yes, your son, they're living in a shelter. You know, you can provide a home for them. You know why they in a shelter? Because you see, my son, he had CDL license, driving the damn truck. That was after. I know that it was wasn't. After. Yes, it was. Day, yes, it was. She used a car and go. Oh, Eddie, my stomach. Oh, Eddie, I don't have this. The boy used to leave his job and come to your way. That's why y'all. That's not We're going to figure this out right now. <laughs> I pray to God, Murray. Hold on, hold on. Murray, wait, Murray. This is the moment of truth. In the Lord. case of one-year-old Jada, Eddie, you are the father. <laughs> I'm gonna apologize to her. Hell to the E-No. No. And that's right. I don't, I don't need apology. Hell to the I'm not gonna accept it anyway. I'm, I'm trying to teach her how to do it. I already got to prove what I have to prove. I already got to prove what I have to prove. I'm a mother as opposed to a dog like that. She's a child to me. I don't have one. I don't need one. I don't need a mother. And I don't like you neither. I'm never gonna like you. Are you crazy? If you ever marry you, crazy. He's been told by many doctors that he can't have children. Why would I believe a slut like Heather over a doctor? You want to see my cell phone when he sent me a picture of him without a shirt on? Come to my old David, Justin, five kids. He claims he's not the father of any of these children. You know He claims he's not the father of any of these children. You not my camera line you whatever. We gonna see. We gonna see. And this woman has no idea if her boyfriend or her boyfriend's stepbrother is the father. What makes him think that he's a better man to take care of Evan than me? You had the right to be there and you denied that right. Which brother is the father? You are not.
This is Vanessa, and this is Vanessa's husband, Trorinthian. They have been married, they've been married eight years. And these are Vanessa's five kids. Until two months ago, Vanessa says she and Troy were one big happy family. Yes, we were. Until all of a sudden, Troy comes up with this idea. He's not the father of any of these children. He says he's not the father because he claims a man knocked on his door claiming that he was the father. So then, so then he begins to think, well, if he's the father of two, there must be somebody else who's the father of the other three. Watch this. I'm here to prove to my husband, Trorinthian, that he is the father of one, two, three, four, five of my kids. I've been praying for the last and how does he repay me by denying my kids? I don't think so. Corinthians says these kids don't look like him, but they all look alike. They look like quadruplets. Corinthians better be ready when Maura says you are the father for Corinthians, for Leah, Jordan, Koran, and Asante. And when it does, he better get on his knees and apologize to me. Yes, I do. How can he sit up and some deny five beautiful kids? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Y'all been together eight years. Eight years. I gave him eight years of my life, six pregnancies, and three years of marriage. So how can he sit up here and deny my kids? He says this guy knocked on the door and said that he was the father of two of your kids. It was a rumor, Maury. He might was dreaming or fascinated with this guy. I want to know what guy he's talking no, man, about, Maury. Because no, right, no right. if it was a guy, hell, that guy going to help me take care of my kids, Maury. I don't know what you talking about. <laughs> you know who your baby dad is. Stop trying to put it on me. She said, he says you go out all the time. You go to the I club. I go out. I work. I clean. I take care of my kids. When do I go out? This is what he had to say. Watch this, everybody. I need answers today. I think my wife Vanessa been lying and cheating on me. I didn't start denying these kids up until three months ago. And now I don't think that these are my kids. Vanessa loves going out to the club. My friends told me they seen her bumping the ground out on the dance floor. One of those guys may be those kids' father. One day a man come knocking on my door, saying he was demanding to see his kids. And I know I'm not the father of these kids now. Corinthian, Khalil, George, Kawan, Asante, they don't have none of my physique. All my nappy hair. They look straight Mexican. Will Mr. Morris read that DNA test and prove that I'm not that one of those kids, Bob? You'll get the beat. And here he is. Here's Corinthian. How far apart you are. Yes, sir. Yes, you sir. Mar you're married. Yes, sir. You love those children. Oh, yes, sir. I love them kids, Morgan. And you're a good father. I read you. Yes, good, sir. You're yes, a very sir. good father. Yes, sir. So why would you deny this? All these rumors, Morgan. R oh, rumors? Yes, sir. I see you going to the club. Whatever, but when he reads the results, we're going to see who the father is. I want to know about this man, this so-called man. Did you see this man, or did you just hear about him? In his dream, or in his dream. Oh, oh, sir, me, sir, let me talk, let me talk. Sir, let me talk to Mr. Moore. Look at Mr. Moore. No, I didn't see him, but uh, so if, uh, a anonymous guy came knocking at the door. Right. And uh, he said uh, he wanted to see his kids. So wow. I asked Vanessa. Wow. I'm like, who is this here? She was like, um, I don't know him. Just Tell man me. up and take care of your kids. Shut That's up, what shut you up, man. Let me talk. Man up and take care of your
we're going to find out right now. We're talking about five kids, so I got, I got two pages to read here. In the case of five-year-old Torinthian Jr. Torinthian, you are the father. Two, here go two. In the case of four-year-old Kalia, Torinthian, you are the father. In the case of three-year-old Jordan. Corinthian, you are the father. Three. Child support gonna kill his behind. Wait a minute. In the case of two-year-old Quran, Corinthian, you are the father. <laughs> In the case of 11 month old Asante, Corinthian, you are the father. I want you on your knees. I want you on your knees and apologize to me for th eight years. Eight years. Six years of pregnancy, three years of marriage. You owe me an apology. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, you guys gonna be a nice, happy family now? Yeah, yeah, yeah everything's alright now. It's okay now? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. This woman has no idea if her boyfriend or her boyfriend's stepbrother is the father. What makes him think that he's a better man to take care of Evan than me? You had the right to be there and you denied that right! Which brother is the father? Keith denies her son for one reason. He don't make boys, he make girls. Oh, that girl! Keith. You don't have a girl! You, you are not, 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 not. We have with us Jessica and her boyfriend Adam. Now, Jessica and Adam are praying that a paternity test proves that Adam is the father of their three year old son, Evan. Unfortunately, there is only one other man who could be baby father, and that is Adam's stepbrother, Ricky. Oh my God. This is Jessica and Adam's story. I'm here today because I have a three-year-old son named Evan, and I'm not sure who his father is. It could be between two stepbrothers, Adam and Ricky. I slept with them both within the same week. I know that was wrong, but I was young and I made a mistake. I did believe that it was Ricky at first. Because Jessica was so sure that Ricky was the father, I accepted it. As Evan gets older, I realize he looks a lot more like Adam. Ricky wasn't stepping up and being a father to Evan, so I made a decision to be there for him. Now everyone is saying Evan looks like me and is convincing me that he is my son. I'm currently with Adam and he is an amazing father to Evan. I want more than anything for this DNA test to say that Adam is Evan's father. <laughs> Jessica, you embarrassed? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Actually, a lot. You do a lot of things when you're young and, you know, stupid and it affects your life and you never realize how much it will affect anybody else's. You knew they were stepbrothers. Yes. And so then you went from Adam to Ricky. Yes. And you thought Ricky was the was I the really father. thought Ricky was. That's one reason why I stopped talking with Adam. So Adam. You were kind of the odd guy out in the beginning here because she thought Ricky was the father. Yeah. 
I mean, she didn't even assume, she didn't even think that I could be the father. Well, if that hurt so bad, how come you all end up together? Oh, I had left for a while, and then when Ricky and them started talking, I started hanging out with my brother. And then she saw me, and I saw Evan. And the whole time, through all the years, I've been keep hearing, before I even saw Evan again, I heard that Evan looked like me. His mama said that Evan looked like me. You and your brother get along? We haven't talked since all this has happened. How long has that been? A couple months. Before we meet Ricky, he had a different outlook on this. Watch. I'm really mad, and I'm sick of being lied to. Jessica told me I was Evan's father, and now she's changed her mind. Now she said that Adam's Evan's father, and that's not right. I think she did this because I didn't want to be with her, and Adam did. Jessica only looks out for herself, and it's ridiculous. Adam has now took the son I believe to be mine as his own. What makes him think that he's a better man to take care of Evan than me? Because of this situation, me and my brother are barely on speaking terms. Thanks to you, Jessica, that has all been thrown away because of your lies. All right, he's angry, here's Ricky. <laughs> all haven't talked in a while, huh? That's right. Can you all make up? Oh yeah, I love my brother, he's still my brother. <laughs> you were lied to. By whom? By Jessica. Why? Because she claimed for the first two years that the child was mine. You knew what was going on, you knew what happened, and you were completely fine with that. And when I took you to court, you denied the paternity test. You got a tattoo? Yeah. What's it say? Evan. A big deal, you got a tattoo, and what have you done? What have you done? You ain't done a damn thing. I tried oh. to help. You wouldn't even let my on oh. my You yeah, had the right, mom, no, you me. had the right to be there. You had the right to be there. I gave you that right, and you denied that right. You had that chance. You lost it. You think We're gonna find out right now. <laughs> Comes to three-year-old Evan, Ricky. You are not the father. When it comes to three-year-old Evan, Adam, you are the father. You're the step-uncle. That's, right. That's what you are. That's fine. Okay. You are going to be an uncle. I, I, I'm a grown adult. You know, I made a mistake when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, we are still part of a family. So, you know what I mean? Grow up and play the part. You couldn't be the daddy, be the damn uncle. <laughs> Keith denies her son for one reason. He don't make boys. He make girls. Oh, that girl. Keith. You don't met the man of her dreams when Keith came into her life. Now, together, they were on cloud nine. Then they discover that Sheena's pregnant. But all of a sudden, the happiness comes to an abrupt end when Sheena reveals that she was having a baby boy. You see, Keith truly believes he cannot make boys. <laughs> and that's when he began to accuse Sheena of cheating. Watch this. He promised me a fairy tale and he played me for a fool. I thought we was gonna have a perfect life together, but instead, I have a four year old with no father. When I first got pregnant, Keith was doing everything the right way. He was rubbing my feet, he was bringing me food. Anything I was asking for, he brought it. Keith asked to name my son after him, but then he didn't even sign a birth certificate. In four years, Keith has done a damn thing for my son. I've been doing everything by myself, and I'm sick and tired of it. When Maury reads you are the father, Keith's gonna make up the four years he missed out of my son's life. Well, 
Now, did you all plan Nancy? We planned it. You he, planned it? We planned it. What's this thing about him only making girls? Because he has three girls, and he said he don't make boys. He make girls. Only make girls. <laughs> boy, please, you made a boy about me. You made a boy about me. This is what Keith had to say. <laughs> I was a great boyfriend to Sheena. I would have done anything for her. One night, I was sitting at home waiting for Sheena. She didn't show up to noon the next day. Sheena came up pregnant after she told me she cheated on me. Even Sheena's own family says this not my baby. Sheena had the nerve to name her baby Keith Jr. after me. I never gave her permission to do that. The doctors told me the exact date when Sheena got pregnant. I looked at my calendar. I was at work that day. There's no way I'm the father of Keith Jr. When Maury reads, I'm not the father, I want my name back. She can name the baby John Doe, Jane Doe. I don't want my name back. All right, everybody, here's Keith. Keith, come on out. You the block hoe. Keith. 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 I would be proud to have a son. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't not you by her. No, he not by her. He's she ain't nothing but a block hoe. Keith, by the way, I've never, no, I've no, never heard that. Like you, I you bet don't do you don't. You for him. Him. Hey, I don't do nothing for him because yeah, he ain't mine. He like ain't mine. Do hey, like young you. old and when you was four months pregnant, she said she cheated up on me. Never told you that. Cause Please. I never cheated on you. You cheated yeah. on me. Hey, hey, I was at work at the time. You can Boy, see. Well, now you wasn't even working even the then. Doc, I was working. No, you wasn't. I was, how, how in the hell are you gonna tell Keith, me? Keith, back off. I want to talk talk to me. First of all, Keith, I got a couple questions. You don't think that child looks like you? No. Do you believe that you can't make boys? Yeah, I do. Well, yeah, I do believe that. We're gonna find out right now. <laughs> When it comes to four-year-old Keith Jr., Keith, you are the father. All it is is to take care of this child. That's all it is. Yeah. That's what you like, okay? Yeah, you gonna help that. me take care of my son? Yeah, I'm gonna be a good father to him. Okay. And that's okay. what I want. Yeah. Thank you, Danny. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> now you know. <laughs> now I know. I'm sorry, okay? Albert doesn't deny Brenda's child, but Albert's mother sure does. Baby Al is not my grandson. You want nothing from the evil witch! You are a liar! Is the only way it's going to be said? Yes, it sure is. Albert. You are not, 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 not. This is Brent. For the last three years, Brenda has shared her world with a man named Albert. They even have a beautiful one-year-old baby together named Albert II. Aww. But it's not perfect in Brenda's world because of this woman, Albert's mother, Rhonda. You see, Rhonda insists that's not her grandchild. She's causing this couple complete and total turmoil. We're going to meet Albert and his mother in a moment, but first, you say Rhonda is destroying you and Albert's life. She absolutely is. She is totally ruined in our relationship. Like, she don't want to be his mama. She wants to be his girl. I am the woman in his life. You know what I mean? That is a lie. His Are you mom. all still together? Yeah, we're still together. Why doesn't she like you? She did, because I'm not going to bow down to her anymore. As long as I was bowing down, we got along. But I'm not bowing down. We're going to meet Albert's mother. But this is what she had to say. Watch this. I gave Brenda the benefit of the doubt 
until she crossed the line when she would not allow me to have my grandson till he was almost eight months old. Anytime I had the opportunity to be around him, I looked and searched for my son and was unable to find him. This baby does not look like my son. I bought that family everything. And one night I get a phone call that she is throwing everything that I bought them out the window. That's not acceptable. All of Brenda's lies are going to end today. Baby Al is not my grandson. Don't, don't put her beside me. Don't, don't yeah, but Brenda, I got to ask you something me. before I bring her out, okay? That's such she Did chose you? not to be in his life. She chose that, not me. Okay. Did you throw the stuff out? Absolutely. I don't want nothing from the evil witch. I don't want a damn thing in my house, Brenda. Here's Ron. That child, your sons. Cause he Marge. don't look like him. The hell he don't. Oh, How please. don't he? That's his nose, his ears. You know what I mean? That is him. No, he's not. He's got my color. True enough. But oh, freaking well, that, that is still my his son. baby. That ain't my son's baby. Look at him. She's gonna look. That's that's good. Good. She Roll was the tape. I've been with Brenda for a while and I love her more than anything. Everything was fine for a while. Then my mother told me that she thought that Albie wasn't mine and I was crushed. I can't believe that my mother would deny my own son, but she has it in her head that Brenda is no good. I'm so sick and tired of being in the middle of Brenda and my mother's fights. This needs to end so we can be one happy family again. You broke it up. No, you, you did. About Albie. You, you did. did that. Here's Al. I could. I, I feel sorry for you. Yeah, no, you know what? She ain't never you had. You want to be the she father to this child? To like you want to be with Brenda? You love your mother? How's out of respect for him? Oh, please <laughs> raise yourself. Please raise yourself. When you told it's your okay, mother, son, when you told okay. your mother that's my child, what'd she say? She said it's not. Who wanted to? She did. Your she did. Not him. Ronnie. Her. No, she did. She called you. Yes, I did. Her, she uh, did. Because I'm she over it. She called you. I'm the 14 month old Albert II. Is his mother right? The results are next. Rhonda is destroying you and Albert's life. She absolutely is. She is totally ruined in our relationship. She don't want to be his mama. She wants to be his girl. I am the woman in his life. You know what I mean? I gave Brenda the benefit of the doubt until she crossed the line. Baby Al is not my grandson. You love Brenda? I do. You want to be with her? I do. Is that your child? It is. When you okay. told your mother that's my child, what'd she say? She said it's not. When it comes to 14-month-old Albert II, Albert... You are the father. You are the father. You didn't want to be honest. I don't think that's good. That's not good. I don't want to be honest. It's so that's good. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think that's good.
The drama happens right now on Mari. Today is the national day to prevent teen pregnancy. The teens today say they are desperate to get pregnant. And we are going to do everything we can to stop them. I've had sex with almost 20 different guys, and I'm going to keep doing it till I have my baby. You want to know who's going to help me take care of my baby? Every one of you, because I'm going on welfare. No! No! We're gonna get back. We're gonna get back. I'm gonna have a baby at 14. You ain't gonna do nothing about it. You have sex for money? Yeah. Are you a 14-year-old prostitute? Hell no. You're in dreamland. No, you you're me? in dreamland. Leah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, shut up. That's all you. Two sisters. We've had sex with almost 60 different men. We don't care who the baby daddy is. You had a miscarriage. Had six of them. Will these young teens be able to handle 24 hours in baby boot camp? Don't touch me. Get that camera out of my face. Excuse me, obviously. Are you getting stressed out? We've never had a baby boot camp like this. The baby stopped breathing. The baby stopped breathing. The drama happens right now on Mars. We have young teen girls who will do anything to get pregnant and have babies. We want you to meet Belinda. This is the mother of 15-year-old Sierra. Now, Belinda is desperate to stop Sierra from getting pregnant. Now, as we heard earlier, Sierra brags about having sex with some 20 guys just so she can have a baby. And now the rumor has it that Sierra has been nicknamed the homie hopper. <laughs> Because she goes back and forth between guys to have sex. And her reputation hasn't stopped her from buying brand name clothes for her baby, clothes that she says will pay for by going on welfare. Now, Belinda, what is going on with your daughter? Maury, I don't know what's going on with her. She's wanting to have a baby. She's running the street. Well, how long has this been going on? For the last year and a half, almost two years. What, did you ever ask her why she wants a baby? She told me to mind my own business oh, and stay out it. of her life. So she never got why. She didn't even explain to you, I want somebody to love me. She uh, is in love with this boy, and she thinks by uh, getting pregnant by him, that he's going to stay around. And she be. Now, you know and I know what happens. Right. They're gone. Boys you know, don't stay around no, when they're when messing they're around young. at 15, 16, 14 years old. They don't know how to be parents. Right. I want to see. I want to show you some pictures. Okay. Here's a picture. Aww. She wasn't that way then, was she? <laughs> nope. Here's the problem. This is not the first time that you've had to struggle. When you were her age, what happened? I thought I knew everything. I thought that her dad was going to be around. You think this is a replay all over again? Yeah, and I want to try to stop it before she... You would think that she would take your example and benefit from it. She's not. She's uh, doing the opposite. She's not going to school. She's having sex with different guys. She don't care. You ever heard of her being called a homie hopper? <laughs> yeah, my sister is the one that let me know. Your sister? Your sister Mary, who, by the way, is here, and your sister called the show. Yes. She also pretends that other people's babies are hers? Yep. She'll, I've heard that she's went into stores, buy an outfit for these babies that she babysits for and tells them that they're hers. You know, it's it just heartbreaking. She go to school? No. I can't get her to go to school. She fight to get to school. She dress. also gets violent, doesn't she? Yes. With I, you? Yes. What has she done to you? She's bit me. She's ripped my hair out of my head. <laughs> called me a, all kinds of names, fat. <laughs> anything you can think of, she's called me. All right, here is Sierra again. Now, we wanted you to hear this. Watch this, Belinda. Mom, you need to sit your fat ass down and stop telling me I shouldn't have a baby because I'm a grown ass woman and I'm going to do what I want to do. I love to smoke weed, have sex, party, and if you got a problem with that, Mom, you can kiss my. I've had sex 
sex with almost 20 different guys, and I'm gonna keep doing it till I have my baby. When you've tried to get in my way, I've pulled your hair, i bit you. It's none of your damn business what I do. Leave me alone. Here she is, Sierra, again. Here's you are, Sierra. think these these guys are going to be around if you have sex with them and have a child you really think they're going to be around this oh you think so uh, yeah how old is he 16 16 and by the chance is he going to school no no <laughs> you're the one who wants to go on government welfare right huh? it's their tax dollars what it's their tax dollars that's going to be paying for my baby you know that you know that guy's not going to be around for you He's not going to be around for you. Well, I don't believe that. I think you know he's... your mother had a very hard life when she was your age. Can't you benefit from that? Don't you understand what she went through? She doesn't want you to repeat it. Why do you do that? Because I want a baby. Yeah, and why? Do, why? By the way, are you so violent with your mother? Because she's stupid. Whoa. How can you talk to your mother that way? You because love she's her? always going to get her. Because just shut you up. Stop how her acting. Stop being a baby. How do you think everybody from where we live at thinks about you? And so? I got to work with everybody, and I so? got to be there. I don't care. So I've just had so many surgeries that she fights me, and I can't. I can't. I can't do nothing with her. What do you got for a baby? You brought it all? Not all of it. Huh? Not all of it. Well, huh? You think you can get away with that? Don't you think a baby needs more? Well, it does. Hey, Where's gonna, your crib? I'm going to go buy one. With, with what? My social security check. <laughs> Man, y'all shut up. Shut up. Just shut up. You can take care of a baby, then. Yeah, I know I can. Yeah, your mother says you can't even wash dishes. So, what's that got to do with taking care of a baby? What's that got to do with taking care of a baby? You think anybody can take a care of a baby, but you can't wash a dish? I don't like washing dishes. You don't like washing dishes. You just decide. And then one day, you know what you're going to decide? I don't want to take care of a baby. Then the baby doesn't have anybody to take care of it. I'll still take care of the baby. What do I look like? Man, that's whatever. You have, you have self-respect for yourself? Yeah. You do? You like being called homie hopper? Self-respect. <laughs> whatever it's just friends want to get with me and that's why they call me a homie hopper really you are a beautiful young woman who has a lot to learn let's move on now my next guest tanya is the mother of a 14 year old Aaliyah. she is hell bent on having a child tanya says she found out one year ago just how badly Aaliyah wanted a baby when she wound up pregnant at the age of 13. Now, in the end, Aaliyah did not keep the baby, and Tanya had hoped that Aaliyah had learned a painful lesson then. But today, Aaliyah says she wants a baby even more than ever. She brags about being paid as much as $300 for sex. And when she makes her money, she spends it on baby clothes. She's addicted to sex. She, she enjoys getting paid for sex. How does that make you feel? It makes me real sad, Morgan. Where do you think she got that idea? I guess the people that she hang out with, she's always in the street. Well, this is what she had to say. Watch this. Mom, best believe everybody in the ninth grade having a baby. Whether you like it or not, I'm going to have a baby at 14. You ain't going to do nothing about it. Neither is these people at the board show. Mom, I'm having sex three times a day with two different guys to get pregnant. And ain't nobody going to do nothing about it. And if I don't know who the father is, I'm going to get a paternity test. My baby going to be in name brand clothes, Rockwell, Coogee, LRG. My baby going to be fresh to death, and ain't nobody going to stop my stunning. At the age of 14, I got it all figured out, and ain't nobody got nothing to say about this. Here's Aaliyah. Aaliyah, come on out. You can have a child at 14. Who do you? I can have a baby anytime I want to. You yeah. So can. Why do you think? No, you disrespectful. You disrespectful, yo. You disrespectful, yo. You need to mind your business. You 
think that's a cool thing to do? Yeah, everybody doing it. Ain't nobody Everybody's stop doing it? Yeah. Is that yours? Yeah. Where you get them? From my niece. Huh? From my niece. From your niece? Yeah. My baby gonna be this her towel, this her clothes, these her pampers. You got your baby names? Yeah. What? Nico, Tori, <laughs> Italy. <laughs> Aaliyah, Aaliyah, Aaliyah. <laughs> what? Your baby gonna be in brand name clothes. Yeah. How are you gonna get that money? My mama. <laughs> and if she don't get it, I don't get it. I'm not gonna buy, I'm not gonna take care of no baby, Aaliyah. I told she take you. She's taking care that. of me, she's gonna take care of the children that are staying Your mother's too old to have other babies. No. Your mother's too old to take care of I'm more babies. No, she ain't only 45. She I'm can take care of anybody in her house. You're supposed to be able to take care of no, your baby. No, you're gonna take care of, matter of fact. No, I'm since you not. Wanna, since you want to talk, you're going to take care of it. No, I'm and not. if you don't, then oh well. You no, don't need I'm no telling you right now. You're, you're in dreamland. You no, you're me? in dreamland. Don't you see this place? This is dreamland. You just need to find y'all a job. No, I'll get you Come nothing. On, I got on. you next. We'll be back right after this. It's over this segment. We'll know how to deal with you. This segment's over. Sisters. We've had sex with almost 60 different men, and we don't care who the baby daddy is. You had a miscarriage. I had six of them. By the time she turned 16, Jessica wants to have three babies. You don't really want to suck on that pacifier, do you? I ain't no baby. We've never had a baby boot camp like this. Don't touch me. Get that camera out of my no, face. No. The baby stopped breathing. The baby stopped breathing. We've never had a baby boot camp like this. The baby stopped breathing. The baby stopped breathing. We've been talking to young teen girls who are determined to get pregnant. Here is our next guest, Kristen, the mother of 15-year-old Chantel and 16-year-old Tamara. Oh, boy, is this double trouble. Look at this. Now, as you can see, she's got her hands full. Kristen says the mere thought of her two daughters having babies makes her sick to her stomach. Sadly, both Chantel and Tamara have already been pregnant. They've had miscarriages. Chantel brags about being addicted to sex. Tamara brags about having sex with a 45-year-old man. This is what's doing to their mother. My daughters, Tamara and Chantel, mean everything in the world to me. Tamara's a beautiful girl. She's got a lot going for herself, and I wish she would be a better role model for a little sister. Both of my daughters only have an eighth grade education. They have uh, different boyfriends. They have different sex. They're trying to have babies. My oldest daughter, Tamara, had a miscarriage. She almost died. I was worried about the girls. I'm worried about them catching STD or catching AIDS. No, or having a baby and having no one to help him raise it. Two. It's enough with one. You've got two. What happened? I don't know. Now, is there a leader, one following the other, or are they kind of equal? Yes. Um, my youngest daughter, Chantel, she follows her oldest sister around. Okay. Now, tell me about Tamara and the time she miscarried. Tamara had a miscarriage. And uh, she, she was bleeding so bad, um, she went into shock. And I mean, there was, there was so much blood, it, it was covered, it was covered, the bed covered you, the ambulance. You would think that that experience alone would make her say, I don't want to get pregnant, especially so. in, at, at my age. No, and I think she's pregnant again now. Oh. You think she's pregnant now? Well, we're going to do a pregnancy test, okay? Can we do a pregnancy <laughs> test? Put their hands on 
Um, Samara never asked, but me and Shinto have fought before. Why do you think they're trying to have a baby? Have you ever figured that out? I think that they're trying to have a baby. I think they just want someone to love them or someone that they can love. What about you? I, mean, I do love them. Maybe it's not enough. Trust me, it's enough. It's enough. They just don't get it. And hopefully after today, they'll turn around and understand how much you love them so you, they can love you. All right, before we meet 16-year-old Tamara, 15-year-old Chantel, this is what they wanted you to hear. Watch this. Mom, I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to stop me and my sister from having a baby. We don't give a damn that we quit school in the eighth grade. We know all we need to know about life so far. And we will be pregnant by the end of this year. When we have our babies and money gets tight, we'll prostitute just to take care of them. Mom, I call you bitches and hoes because you're trying to stop me from having a baby. All your hoes in the audience better mind y'all business because we will beat your ass. Tamara and Chantel, here they are. Bring them out. You're the oldest. Yep. You're the oldest. Yep. Are you the leader? No. Huh? You no. tell your sister what to do. No, she's a grown ass woman. She can do what she wants to do. Really? You don't think you're just following your sister? Yeah, I do. You do? Mm hmm. Why? Because that's my sister, of course. And she's doing everything right, right? She's just doing everything great. She's guess, just showing yeah. you a great kind of life, right? You think. You think that you're grown up enough to care for a baby? Yeah, I do. You do? Mm hmm. Real. Are you the one who can't comb her hair? <laughs> Dropped out of school in the eighth grade. Did. Why? Did you figure that's all you needed to know? We don't need school. School is not helping me make my baby. Real. You know what it's trying to do? Helping you to stop thinking about making babies. That's what it's trying to do. <laughs> You want to have a baby because you want somebody to love. Is that right? Huh? Is that reason? Is that the number one reason? What's wrong with your mother? She's here because she's run out of ways to stop, to, to stop you all from doing these things. Who's pregnant of the two of you? Do we have to do two pregnancy tests? Shall we? I guess. Huh? Okay, we're going to do two pregnancy tests. We'll be back. We're going to excuse these ladies. And then we're going to do the pregnancy test. Because guess what? I guarantee you, if either one of you are pregnant, you have no clue who the father is. We'll be back right after. Now, we want to move on. But first, we want to find out, we want a reality check here. Find out whether Tamara or Chantel are pregnant. Chantel, you are not pregnant. Tamara, you are not pregnant. Okay. Raylitha is hell-bent on becoming a teen mom. Did she say that you were going to raise him? Yes. She tell me that every day. Y'all mad because I don't got this. Y'all don't got this. By the time she turns 16, Jessica wants to have three babies. We've never had a baby boot camp like this. The baby stopped breathing. The baby stopped breathing. We've never had a baby boot camp like this. The baby stopped breathing. The baby stopped breathing. Today, young teen girls who will do anything to get pregnant and have babies. Everybody, this is Teresa. Now, Teresa is ready to walk away from her 14-year-old daughter, Raylitha. Because Raylitha is hell bent on becoming a teen mom. Watch this. I may be 14 years old, but I know everything there is about taking care of a baby. So, what I had sex in my mama bed without a condom? How else I'm supposed to make my baby? And after I had my baby, it's my mama who take care of me, not me. I ain't changing no dirty diapers. I got all my baby names picked out Samaria, Janaris, Dakila. And Cabassier. These two kids of four are all I need once I have my baby. The rest, my mom can get it after I'm pregnant. 
Not only do I love having sex, but if anybody in my family gets in my way, I beat the hell out of them. Mama, you a fat ass kid. And I already given you a black eye, so quit telling me not to have a baby so you get another one. She wants a baby. And she said, I'm the one gonna raise it. So she's not gonna raise it, you're gonna raise it. Yes. Well then why does she So then why does she want a baby? She said they're cute and I'm not finna do it. I'm not finna raise her baby. I'm not finna take no more of her things. I'm just gonna walk away. I'm not finna take no more of this she, stuff, pain that she's giving me. She sleeps with a lot of guys. Oh. Yes, older guys. Older. About 17, 18, 19 year olds. So she doesn't know a darn thing about raising a baby. No. But she says she's practicing. She says that she practices about having a baby. She practices on the dog. Yes, and she carried the dogs around, and a, and a dog is not no human being. <laughs> this is what she had to say. Watch this, everybody. Here's relief. I've been in over a thousand fights because all these little ass girls tell me not to have a baby. And you know what? I whoop the I still, and if it come down to it, I prostitute. Just take her, my baby. Cause I'm a good ass mother. Mama, I'm tired of you complaining about me. I control you. And right now, you need to shut up. She controls you. Here she is. Ray Lisa. Ray Lisa, come on. The baby formula? Yes. Two cans. Yes, that's all I need. That's all you need? Yes. Ray Letha, you hit your mother. Yes. Whoa. You're so confident about being able to take care of a baby. When you babysit and the baby cries, who has to who has to calm the baby down? My mama do. And when the baby goes to the bathroom in the diapers, who who takes care of it? She do. I don't take no diapers. Oh, why you trying to have a baby? Think about what you're saying. Think about it. I know what I'm saying. I'm yeah. fully clear of what I'm saying. I know exactly. I want to have saying. a baby. I love, I love, you're very creative with the names you have for your baby. <laughs> well, next, uh, if it be a girl, it's gonna be Zakila, uh, Jacora, and if it's a boy, Janaris, uh, and Kabasi A. Uh, you know what that is the name of? A liquor, what I drink. How do you spell that? Yeah. I spell it C A B A S. I, that's what I spell it. That's how I spell my baby name. That's how I spell it. Whatever. That's how I spell it. Whatever. I love this show. Y'all get compared to her. Not back down, baby. By the time she turns 16, Jessica wants to have three babies. You don't really want to suck on that pacifier, do you? I ain't no baby.
Will these young teens be able to handle 24 hours in baby boot camp? Get that beer out of my mouth. The baby stopped breathing. The baby stopped breathing. We've never had a baby boot camp like this. The baby stopped breathing. The baby stopped breathing. My next guest, Bob, says that her 13 year old daughter, Jessica, went from being her little angel to an uncontrollable team. Now, this little 13-year-old believes, without a doubt, at 13, she is ready to be a young teen mom. Watch. 39-year-old Bobby's worst nightmare came true just one year ago when her 12-year-old daughter revealed a secret to her. Jessica called me into her room. She said, I want to have a baby. I said, you're a baby yourself. You don't need no baby. Since then, one year has passed, and Jessica is still determined to have her baby. I snuck a boy into my house two weeks ago and lost my virginity to him while my parents were sleeping. Do you think I care? No, I'm not a little girl. 13-year-old Jessica has collected countless baby items and has practiced being a mother. Jessica walks around with the teddy bear. She dresses it in real baby clothes, real baby shoes, pretend like it's a real baby. I can do this. I've told y'all time and time again, I know how to be a mom, and I'll be a great one. All you gotta do is just put the diaper on it, and the baby's done. See, I can do it. Sadly, wanting a baby is not the only dilemma Jessica's mother, Bobby, faces. When I'm not thinking about a baby, I break into cars, steal them, and joyride all over town. And when girls have a problem with me, I bust their teeth out and give them black eyes, too, because no one's the boss of me. Your worst fears were just confirmed when she just made that admission. Two weeks ago, she lost her virginity. You didn't know that. No, I didn't. She's, she's only 13. She's too young for a baby. She can't even take care of herself. No. She's, she's not only too young for a baby, she's too young to have sex. She is. I love this idea about the teddy bear. She thinks the teddy bear is a baby. She carries it around. She dresses it. She names it. And then she's got these binkies. She puts in the teddy bear's mouth. What else does she do for the pacifier, with the pacifier? She carries it around, puts it in her mouth. Oh. All day. Her own mouth. Sucking on, sucking on the pacifier. You know why? I think that's appropriate. You know why? Because she <laughs> Then I love it. Jessica makes this big prediction. By the time she's 16, what does she say she has? She's going to have three babies. Three babies. <laughs> three babies. I love it. Okay. This is what she has to say. Watch everybody. Listen to young Jessica. I am not a little girl. I smoke, drink, and bust the girls' faces in. That's how I know I'm ready to be a mom. Mom, I hate you. I'm going to have three kids by the time I'm 16, and there's nothing you can do about it. No one's going to stop me from having a baby. Not my mom, not my dad, and not Maury. Here she is, Jessica. Come on out. You don't really, you don't want to suck on that pacifier, do you? Yes. You're going to have three babies by the time you're 16. Yes. Who's going to take care of the baby? I am. And no. What kind of experience do you have? I got all kinds of experience. I'm with a teddy, teddy bear? Of yeah, with a teddy bear. Does that teddy bear cry? Yeah, it does. It's crying right now. It don't like none of y'all. <laughs> you know what you did 
give you a chance. Because I wanted to. I want to have a kid. You snuck a boy in your house two weeks ago. Yeah. It ain't, it ain't nobody's business. The window that was open, when you found it open the next day? It wasn't open. I stuck him through the kitchen window. What were your parents doing? They were asleep in their room. We'll be back right after this. Angel wants a baby, and she's only 15 years old. I've had sex with over 15 different guys. We've never had a baby boot camp like this. Get that camera out of my face. No. The baby stopped breathing. The baby stopped breathing. Mari. We've never had a baby boot camp like this. The baby stopped breathing. The baby stopped breathing. Okay. So I, I have this sobering stat for you. Last year, 412,000 girls had babies between the ages of 10 and 19. 412,000. This is Holly. Holly's daughter wants to be part of that statistic. 15 year old Angel. Boy, she wants a baby. And she'll do just about anything with anybody to get pregnant and become a teen mom. Watch. 15-year-old Angel will stop at nothing to get pregnant and have a baby. So what if I've had sex with over 15 different guys? Do you think I care what my dumbass mom's got to say about it? I do what I do, and I'm going to have this baby no matter what she's got to say about it. If a 15-year-old wanting a baby isn't frightening enough, it's the places where Angel has sex that is truly shocking. Yeah, I've had sex on the swing set in the park in my backyard. It don't matter. I want this baby. How does Angel plan on supporting a child? Angel's stolen hundreds of dollars worth of baby items. I've got diapers. I've got plenty of them. I've got clothes. I've got toys. I've got food, everything. And it's not just stealing. She has some other plans on how to make money. I got paid for having sex, but all that money that I got paid for having sex, I went out and bought formula, diapers, food, whatever that baby needs, I got it. I don't care what my mother's got to say, I'm gonna have this baby, I don't care who my baby daddy is, but I'm gonna have this baby. Oh. It's a baby. Here's the thing. You have walked in on her on four different occasions. I've caught her having sex in my bed. How many pregnancy scares have there been? I've bought over 20 pregnancy tests. <laughs> and I've found numerous used pregnancy tests. Condoms, just. There's a list of names, right? On a piece of paper, what's that? Over 15 guys that she gave oral sex to and slept with. Here's what your angel has become. Watch. Mom, every time you tell me not to have this baby, I'm gonna keep smacking you around because I'm gonna have this baby regardless what you got to say. Mom, I don't care what you got to say. I'm gonna keep having sex with as many guys as I want to. I don't care who my baby daddy is, but I'm gonna have this baby. Here she is, Angel. Angel, come on out. This stuff. I stole it. You stole it. Yeah. And you're proud of it. Have any respect for your body? No. Why don't you have any respect for your body? Because I don't. Well, look, if you can't have respect. Why y'all gonna say I need to get smacked? Let me love your mother? You have to think about it. Um, kind of. Why is that? Because. I bet Raylitha loves her mother, don't you, Raylitha? I love my mama. <laughs> Whatever. I love my mama. Whatever. Whatever. You love your mother, right? It's tough you? love. That's what that is. <laughs> So this is all the stuff you've stolen, Angel, huh? Yeah. Well, why don't we just return it to the stores right now? Or at least... It's for my baby. 
them, or at least give it to those people less fortunate than you that don't go steal anything, but they just don't have any clothes for their children. We can give those. Now, you don't really care who's the father of your child, do you? Nope, as long as I have a baby. We'll be back. Will these young teens be able to handle 24 hours of baby boot camp? Get that hair out of my face. The baby stopped breathing. The baby stopped breathing. Maury was. We've never had a baby boot camp like this. The baby stopped breathing. The baby stopped breathing. After the show, Raphael B. Johnson took three of these wild teen girls to find out if they can take care of volunteer babies for just 24 hours. Welcome to baby boot camp. Meanwhile, Kepra brought the other four teens to a separate location to see if they can handle just one day of being a teen mom. Okay, ladies, y'all talked a lot of junk. You said you wanted to have babies, so welcome to baby boot camp. Can they handle being a mother for just one day? As soon as baby boot camp started, the only word to describe the scene was chaos. Wash your head. Are you getting stressed out? Oh, so, tell them baby. It's about the baby. It's about the baby, Raylita. She's right near a knife, and she's reaching for it. Maury, we're in chaos at baby boot camp. That's not how you wipe the baby. That's not how you wipe a baby. What you smiling about? He's crying. He needs to be fed. Oh, God, that looks disgusting. I don't know how to do Oh, God. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. You just shoving the food in his mouth. That's not how you feed a baby. Don't get no attitude with me now. Look, she's falling off the pad, OK? This is what it's like to be a mother. You get no breaks. And before the day was up, Raphael wanted to show the teens every parent's worst nightmare. The baby stopped breathing. Come, come. Over here. What are you going to do? Do you know CPR? Actually, none of the volunteer babies were in harm's way, as Raphael used a medical doll to give a lesson on infant CPR. That's how you resuscitate a baby. As baby boot camp continued, the teens were getting more and more frustrated. All right, get that you wanted a baby. This is what you asked for. Why are you crying? Because you guys won't get out of my face and get the camera out of my face. Oh, no. Come and take care of the baby. You don't get your baby. By yourself when you start I swear, guys, say one more thing to me. I've been throwing damn so on you. Meanwhile, 13-year-old Jessica said on our set that she wanted to have three babies by the time she's 16. You're going to get three babies right no. now. Is this easier than a teddy bear? Are you Never wipe a baby girl from the back to the front. Are you crazy? What well, ain't just stop talking to me, man? No, I'm talking to right. you because you want to be the mother. You want three babies? We're gonna take the babies away from you because it's clear that you cannot handle three babies. After baby boot camp, will any of these teens still want to have a baby? It's not as easy as you think it is, is it? Are you ready to have a baby? We've never had a baby boot camp like this. The baby stopped breathing. The baby stopped breathing. After being a full-time mom for just one day, these young teen girls had a big change of heart. I'm young. I still need to finish. I just don't want a baby anymore. I don't want to apologize. And to let you know, no, we do not we don't after have no today. Kids. No. <laughs> I can't take care of myself. Because <laughs> I'll get an attitude. I know you can do it. I'm sorry, it. I gave you a hard time. I, know. I love you. I don't want no kid. It's not as easy as you think it is, is it? No. Sorry. Okay. I love you. Are you ready to have a baby? No, I ain't ready to have a baby. The tank girl baby's hard. You need to learn a lot of stuff before you want to have a baby. You have to understand that. Make me cry. Sorry. Mama, thank you for everything. Are you sticking by my side and being there with me? Because truly, if I was in your place, I want to stick by my side. And I want to thank you for that. And as Raphael talked with 13-year-old Jessica, it was clear that she only wanted a baby because she feels unloved. Is that one of the main reasons why you can to show that baby some love? Show the baby something I've ever had. It's not what I thought it'd be. It's much harder. It's not exactly taking care of a teddy bear. We sincerely hope that the teens will take all of the day's experiences home with them 
and decide to stop trying to get pregnant and have babies. Until next time, America. Today on Mari, the drama between these family members is causing complete and utter mayhem. John is here with his wife because they believe this young woman is trying to trap John with someone else's baby. Do you okay. think that that's his baby? No, I don't. And they believe she's only doing it because she's obsessed with John. Oh my God, obsessed is not, that ain't even a word. Only a DNA test can expose the real truth. John. Paige is here with her mother. I don't care how many people my daughter has slept with. Because after a wild New Year's Eve house party. This is a terrible situation to be in. No one will take responsibility for the child Paige conceived that night. Two men from that night are here with their girlfriends. But neither man thinks Paige's baby belongs to him. This son looks nothing like me. You don't believe her baby's mine. The truth will finally be revealed today. When it comes to seven-month-old Landon. Who's the father of Paige's baby? Floyd. Philip. And this woman is here to break up a family. Sarah is nothing but a lying scam artist. And prove her brother is not the real father of this child he's been raising. You love that little girl, don't you? Yeah, that's my little princess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what will the DNA result do to this entire family? Michael. An hour of paternity test exposing the shocking truth begins now. Everyone, this is Kia. Welcome Kia to the show. Now, just a month ago, Kia gave birth to her first child, Brayden. Look at him. Instead of enjoying motherhood, she found herself getting a paternity test. When Kia told her ex-boyfriend John she was pregnant, John had some news for her as well. It was at that moment that John said he was in a relationship with another woman named Yolanda. So John and Yolanda, guess what? They're married, and they deny Kia's child. Why? I met John while we were in the same school together, and he was the one pursuing me. I didn't know he was in a relationship with anyone until after I found out I was pregnant. I got pregnant the first week we were together, and John seemed happy. In fact, he asked me to marry him a couple weeks later. I thought everything was going to be OK, and then he went and married Yolanda. John has only seen his son three times since he's been born. I know the only reason he's not doing anything is because of Yolanda. I told her myself I was having his baby, and she could have accepted. John and I still mess around. Until this day, he still tells me he wants to be with me. They can say whatever they want about this, but at the end of the day, John's going to look like a liar. You know, John told my producers he slept with you one time. John is such a liar. Not only did I, he come to my house, he went to, I went to his mama's house. Ow! You just went to the mama's house. No, you I just went to, went to the mama's house. house. What? You 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 still sleeping are... with John? Yes. What was you the last time? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. 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 Two weeks before he saw her. Well, then, what did you think when you found out that he was with her? I was devastated when I found out. Very you, devastated. Do you okay. think that that's his baby? No, I don't. Why? No, I don't. Why? Because, really? no, because, because of the stuff that's going on. Why did you tell his mom that? 
You were mad because Brayden looks just like him? I did not tell his mama that. I did not tell his mama that. Irrelevant, sweetheart. You're irrelevant, right? Well, tell you something. Yolanda believes that you are obsessed with John. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Obsessed is not that ain't even a word. Okay. She, she, shut she, up. she, shut she up. called. Shut I'm up. up. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah. Oh. Oh. When you block, right? Yes, the you have father, have, right? Mad this girl has called within two days, two hundred times. You call it obsessed? What the hell you, you call him two hundred times? No, what the hell you call it? No, I don't. Yolanda, I return his call. Thank you. No, honey. <laughs> And she, he this is what John it. had to what say, everybody. She is a tick that just won't get off my shoulder. If I can explain her one word, be obsessed. I had a one night stand with Kia, and she, now she's using her baby to try to be with me. Kia has the nerve to write on my wife's Facebook wall that we're still having sex and we're not. I love Yolanda, and I never leave her for Kia ever. Truth be told, Kia is a slut. I seen her on the video having sex with four different guys at one time. Do that sound like a woman who knows her baby daddy is? Once more to read that I'm not the father of kids' baby, I got a sign up sheet for all the men who needs to be tested next. There's John. So, Kia, you're just going to stare at him, bold, huh? right? You bold. You a liar. Come. I ain't no liar. You're just obsessed with me. <laughs> oh, I don't I'm, want I'm so obsessed with you, John. Look at me. Look at you. Yeah. How many times do you sleep with him? I slept with him once. Can we, can, Lord, can we do the lie detector test? We're going to do this right now. We're going to do the lie detector yeah. test right now. Be with him. I we ain't asked you, nowhere. John, do you want to be with Yolanda? Yes. 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 You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Amen. Mm. Amen. We asked you, are you having a secret affair with Kia? You yes. said no. The lie detector determined yes. you're telling the truth. Amen. Amen. Yes. 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 Come on. Yes. Come on. Come on. Have you had sexual intercourse with Kia more than the one time Yolanda knows about? You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie more than three times. We got a problem. We got a problem. How many times? Did you tell more Kia? Than three times. Did you tell Kia you would okay. leave Yolanda to be with her? Yeah. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Important part. Sweetheart. The lie detector determined that he wants to be with Yolanda. He doesn't want to be with you. What? Then why is he still calling me? Why is he? That's a lie. Well, guess what? He I got the results of the DNA. John, if that's that child, you'll take care of that child. No, my child, I'm gonna take care of my child. Yolanda, if that's his child, you gotta be in that child's life. No, she's not, no, she's not coming near my baby. And I ain't mad. And I ain't mad. And I'm not mad. I'm not mad. But ain't nobody gonna keep playing games. When it comes to one month old Braden, John, you are the father. With me, and from day hold on, hold on. No, from day one, you had an attitude. I don't have no reason to talk to you, so let me just walk exactly. away. Exactly. So you gonna walk away? Cause you don't want to yeah. talk to me, sweetheart. No, I will talk to you. Hold, hold on, hold on. Weren't you the one saying, "Oh, this ain't John, baby, come my baby"? A lie. Who, Who does that? Time out. Who, Who does told that? you that, kid? What about the stuff you put on Facebook? I don't. For John, what? Are you for just what? Yeah, when did you I say 
supposed to be a grown woman with a baby act like one. Come on now. Okay, you supposed to be a grown man, supposedly married, but still messing with me? I don't act with it. Okay. Paige is here with her mother. I don't care how many people my daughter slept with. Because after a wild New Year's Eve house party. This is a terrible situation to be in. No one will take responsibility for the child Paige conceived that night. Two men from that night are here with their girlfriends. But neither man thinks Paige's baby belongs to him. This son looks nothing like me. We don't believe her baby's mine. The truth will finally be revealed today. When it comes to seven-month-old Landon. Who's the father of Paige's baby? Floyd. Philip. An hour of paternity test that will finally reveal the truth continues. Everyone, this is Paige. Welcome, Paige, to the show. And this is Paige's mother, Michelle. Welcome, Michelle, to the show. Around the time that Paige got pregnant with her eight-month-old son, Landon. Paige admits she made a big mistake. She slept with a man named Philip. And she slept with a man named Floyd. On the same night. Now. Now, here's the thing. Paige and Michelle are enraged with both these guys because neither one of them have stepped up or helped Paige out in any way. And Paige is praying that a DNA test we're gonna, is going to end all this trauma. Watch. I need this DNA test more than anything. I slept with Philip and Floyd in the same night, and it was the biggest mistake of my life. Now, neither of them will claim my baby. I'm not sure if Philip or Floyd is Landon's dad, but I'm 100% sure that it's one of them. I don't care if my daughter slept with 100 men in her life. Both of these men know that they could be the father, but they left me to play daddy. Floyd knew since day one that he could be the father. Philip found out after Landon was born, but he refuses to do anything. There's a reason that Paige is in this situation. I really don't care what these idiots have to say about me, but I won't let Philip, Floyd, or their stupid girlfriends disrespect my son. But it's difficult for you. Yes. I mean, this is a terrible situation to be in. Yes, it is. And you're upset at them because neither one of them stepped up. Yes, Mario, I really am. You're positive that one of these two is the father. I'm 100% sure that one of them is the father. I don't care. I don't care how many people my daughter slept with. Right. That baby should not have to suffer. Not only do we have Philip and Floyd here, but we also have Philip's girlfriend Stephanie and Floyd's girlfriend Jackie. They're here. Oh. Now everybody's saying, Paige, how'd you get in bed with both guys the same night? They kept texting me back and forth, messaged me. It was on New Year's. They were Oh my God, New Year's Eve! Oh. And they were texting me back and forth saying, uh, do you want to sleep with me and everything? And I was intoxicated. Basically, she shouldn't even have to. She shouldn't even have to be sitting here right now. What? Them two right there. Yeah. Them two right there should take responsibility. Take responsibility. Yeah. This is what she did. Yeah. Y'all make mistakes. Okay. Y'all make mistakes. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. Yeah. I understand they should stand up and they should step up, but neither one of them think they're the father. That's why. Okay. By the way, Jackie, you used to be friends with her. Yeah, I used to be friends with her. But not anymore. No, not no more. Cause you know what? On New Year's, oh, he was at my Why you went out?
Michelle, Michelle, that's Michelle, why you down. guys weren't supposed to. Sit earn. down. Here's the thing, okay? There's significant doubt here as to, wh by the way, which one is the father? If you take a look at Landon, the little boy, and you took a look uh, at uh, these two, who does he look like? I think he looks. I think he looks like Floyd. Myself. Well, Floyd is what uh, on the right look, or look. the left? Feel the way Jackie feels about yeah, this? Yeah, I know it's not his. It's not Phil. No. That's right. It ain't Phil's baby. It ain't. I don't care. I don't care. It's who's not his. I don't care. It's not it's his. And it's not his. We got to hear with Thank Floyd you. and his friend Philip what they got to say. Watch. If you ask anyone around our area about Paige, they will all tell you the same thing. The girl had sex with more people than she can even count. I made a huge mistake hooking up with Paige. At the time, me and my girlfriend Jackie was on a break. Then I found out Paige is pregnant and saying I'm the father. Her old mother, Michelle, said I needed to get a DNA test. I found I could be the father of Paige's kid from Facebook. I got tagged in a picture of her baby. Her son looks nothing like me. Me and Philip both have been trying to get a DNA test on this baby. Every time we bring it up, Paige disappears. Don't be surprised when Maury tells both me and Floyd we're not the father. I know me and my girlfriend Stephanie won't be. I want Paige to get the hell out of me and Jackie's lives. We don't believe her baby's mine. All right, here they are, Philip and Floyd. <laughs> Hey, hey, will you all be quiet? This is ridiculous. All right, calm down. Let me tell you what happened, boys. Let me tell you what, let me tell you what got you in trouble. This is what got you in trouble. Messing around with the same girl on New Year's Eve. That's what got you in trouble. That's the problem, boys. Neither of us was with her on New Year's Eve. He you was with my girlfriend, his girlfriend, there. at their house. And I was at no, my friend's no, house. Wait a minute. No, you all didn't sleep with her at the same time? No. Yeah, we did. Who but cares? not on New Year's Eve. Oh, not it on New Year's Eve. not happy. Oh, who cares if it was the same? Who cares if it wasn't New Year's Eve? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I didn't care this year. I've offered to pay for anybody that is possibly her father. Right. You know, I've offered to pay for DNA oh. test. And every time we have tried, she has ignored us, blocked us on Facebook and everything. Is that right? We've offered to pay for everyone. Okay. You, none of your girls were there, so don't worry. Right. But, but we were there. You look like that child. I see some possibility. You look like that Lord, child. Look at this child. This child has blue eyes. I have dark it's brown eyes. How is that my kid? It's all better. That baby should be possible. So they pull the DNA test hey, out. Sit down, that is not please. my kid. Sit down. That please. baby looks like Floyd, and everybody in the audience can say it. That baby looks like him all right. But why don't you go around saying it's mine it's and then it's mine? Then it could be, then why'd you just say it was his? Here, the, here like we it. go. That's why. Come on with me. When it comes to seven-month-old Landon. Don't miss the moment the shocking truth is revealed. Who's the father of Paige's baby? Floyd. Philip. And this woman is here to break up a family. Sarah is nothing but a lying scam artist. And prove her brother is not the real father of this child he's been raising. He needs to open his eyes and realize he's getting played. You love that little girl, don't you? Yeah, that's my little princess. Oh, yeah. What will the DNA result do to this entire family? Michael.
An hour of paternity tests that will finally reveal the truth continues. Everyone, this is Sarah. Welcome Sarah to the show. Now, on the same day that Sarah and her fiance Mike found out they were pregnant with their daughter Karma, an all-out family war erupted. Because it was at that moment that Mike's sister Navisha began making some damaging allegations. Navisha, the sister, claims Sarah was pregnant before she moved in with Mike. Oh, she, was. she even she calls was. Sarah Satan's worker. Yep. Yep. Poor Mike, he's caught in the middle in all this because he wants to be the father, but this is what his sister had to say. My little brother Mike and I, we used to be inseparable. That is until this conniving bitch Sarah came into the picture. Sarah is nothing but a lying scam artist. One of the first things she ever said to me was she missed her period. Who says that to their boyfriend's sister? When she told my family that she was pregnant, we took her to the ER to see how far along she was. She was four to six weeks, but she hadn't been living with Michael for six weeks. My brother, he's letting his heart get the best of him, but he needs to open his eyes and realize he's getting played. And when I prove that Michael is not the father of her kid, he is coming home with me. Oh. Yeah. Listen to her. What do you think about what Navisha said? Navisha, she needs to mind her own damn business. She has no idea what she's talking about. She was not there when we was doing what she was doing. I want you to calm down because you're pregnant again, aren't yes, you? Yes, I'm pregnant oh, again. Okay. Oh. And Mike's the father. And he's the father of this baby. And she by the way, not have to deal with it. By the way, Mike wants to be the father. Yes, he wants Mike's to be the father. Mike's a good guy. He's a good you guy. You all are together. Yes, we're together. He does everything he's supposed to. You're beginning to argue a lot now, aren't you? We argue every day because of his sister. Spread a rumor about I'm in this apartment and that apartment. Baby daddy I'm walking is. up and down the street. You would be on him if you knew who your baby daddy was. Quite Brandon, Brandon, I'm not even Brandon, arguing for you. It is. I'm not even arguing for you. That's your brother's baby. Your brother's That's your brother's baby. Your brother's yes, it is. Man. You eat the shit out of my own witness. I'm waiting to talk about yourself. Okay. It's my brother. So is it just, is it just his sister or are the other members of the family like her? I got you, all right. Well, he's confused because of his sister. Right, because his dumbass sister who do not know what she's talking about. And she needs to mind her own business, Lori. I might be well, dumb. We might as well find out what these two have to hey, say. First of all, yes. we are going to bring out the sister, Navisha. Navisha, come on. <laughs> Nabisha. You don't even know. Nabisha. Hey, Mari, how you doing? Good to see you. I'm Do they good. look alike? No. I want to know your main reasons why he's not the father. Your main because reasons. Because the only resemblance my brother seeing the baby is some feet. That's it. You, you got all you got. You got one. You got one. You got one. If you did, we wouldn't be here. Nabisha. Nabisha. If she you knew what her baby daddy was, Mike... we would not be at more. I know. I know. If he's your brother. You, you know he wants today. to be the father. And I'm, that's okay. Mari, Mari, let me tell you something. If this baby heals yeah. and he want to take care of it, that's fine. If the baby's not heals and well, he want to be, and if he want to take care it of it, is. So he got ready. full support. Get ready. Get but ready. my point and is, I'm pregnant again. excuse me, so we have excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Your Grown point people is, are your talking. Point is, Grown people are talking. Your point like is. I was saying was, Okay. It's just, it's not fair. Well, we'll find out. Here's Mike, okay? Really? So you gonna let your sister talk all this? Really? really? First of all, Mike, I want to congratulate you. You love that little girl, don't you? Oh, yeah, that's my little princess. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. You love that girl. Oh, yeah. You want to be the father. Oh, yeah, I know I'm the daddy, so I ain't worried about it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, you know how many 
Because you don't hurt them. You want to be the father. Yeah, yes, sir. But Nadisha has put some doubt in your mind. I mean, she put a little doubt, but I, you know what I'm saying? I get over that, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little stepping stone, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I know what I mean. I and know you're what the I father created. of this one, too. Oh, yeah, all the way. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to doubt none of my kids. You know what I'm saying? what it is. You know what I'm saying? You think karma looks like you? Yeah, she got my ass. She, you know what I'm saying? All this up here. That, okay, that's, that's all nice. me. You know that's sweet. That's, that's nice. All me. Well, we're going to find out that's right nice. now. Because I know, Navisha, I know, I know if this is his child, you will be a good aunt. Yes. And, and, matter of fact, Mark, I don't sit there and babysit that baby. What? I don't sit there and took care of it. Man, because one time, Mark, I mean, Paul Bay Creed, man. What, I, what I say, that should be what it is. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, no, I mean, she it, with me. You know what I'm saying? She ain't with her. I got to lay down with her, man. You know what I'm talking about? When it comes, no, when it comes to seven-month-old karma, Michael, you are the father. <laughs> This was irrelevant, man. But no, it was, it was it was it was what I said, she go. All this is irrelevant. Okay, guess what? No, Tomat. Still, yeah, you want to say she's going to be taking care of. 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 She's going to be Definitely. Better. Better. Definitely. But what happens if he's not the father? Josh. One wild New Year's Eve night has turned into two men taking dramatic DNA tests. Oh! Don't miss the moment the shocking truth is revealed. Who's the father of Paige's baby? Floyd. An hour of paternity tests that will finally reveal the truth continues. Everyone, this is Jay. Welcome, Jay, to the show. Now, for the last two years, Jay and her boyfriend, Josh, have lived together. But apparently, the house is far from being a home because Josh is denying he's the father of their son, Aiden. Look at him. You see, around the time that Jay got pregnant, she had been on a short break from Josh went out of state. But Jay says there are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Josh is the father. Yeah. The only thing that can save my relationship with my boyfriend, Josh, is a DNA test for my son, Aiden. Josh and I have been dating on and off for two years now, but his doubt with me has turned our happy home into a house of war. I wasn't with any other man when I got pregnant. Josh is listening to his ex-girlfriend who says my son isn't his. But that's bullcrap. Aiden looks just like Josh. The only thing that Aiden has that Josh doesn't is blonde hair. I am so sick and tired of Josh calling me horrible names. He calls me a slut and a bug-eyed whore. I can't live like this anymore. Otherwise, our relationship will not last. He calls you those names and you live together? Yeah, he does. That's what kind of house you all live in? Why are you so angry about this? Because that's his son. He knows that's his son. I have been with him. He has took care of that baby. He has took care of that baby. OK, so you know what the big problem is. Look at your son, Aiden. Look at Josh. Look at the blonde they hair. They look just alike. Look at that. It doesn't matter that he has blonde hair. No, because my brother had blonde hair when he was born. I and see. it's dark now. Okay. So how did Josh first react when you got pregnant? Was he happy? 
No, he no? denied him at the beginning. Why? He said, you moved away. How could that be my baby? Oh, why so? He had sex with me before I left. When you guys got back together, were things good? They were okay, but he was all the time listening to his ex-girlfriend. She's all the time calling his phone. I love you. I love you. That's not your baby. When you got ready to go to the hospital and the water broke, was, J was Josh there? I had to go pick him up at his uncle's house with three girls surrounded around him. Did he sign the birth certificate? No, he didn't. He wasn't even there. He left right after I had Aiden. He Because he said he had to work. Yeah, he could have stayed there with me. This is what Josh had to say. My girlfriend, Jay, means everything to me. But lately, all we do is fight. I don't think Jay's son, Aiden, is mine. No matter how many times she tells me that he is. When Jay told me she was pregnant, she wasn't living in the state that I lived in. I think she got pregnant after she moved. I know Jay was with another guy when we was on and off. That other guy could be the father. My ex-girlfriend told me that I am not Aiden's father. She says the dates don't add up. I really hope that Jay isn't lying to me. I love that little boy and I want to be the father. And if I'm not, I don't know what's going to happen to my family. Everybody, here's Josh. Josh, come on out. Josh, nice to see you. Come on, come on. this woman? You love this woman? Yes, sir. It's a heck of a house you all are living in these days. Yeah. It's pretty tough, isn't it? Oh, yeah. A lot of screaming, a lot of shouting, a lot yeah. of Every day. All the time. Every day. All the time. Okay. Why are you arguing so much? We argue He's every day. the baby. Because, no, you just it hold on a second. We argue every day because it's of the baby. baby. It's the your baby. baby. It's the baby. He always confronts the baby to me all baby. the time. It's the baby. It's the baby. Look at it's the, look at the blood, hair, blue eyes. What was your first reaction when she told you she was pregnant? You got upset. I was nervous. You were nervous? Disappointed, you know? Cause you denied him from the beginning. You said he I was I never not denied yours. him, Jay. Never, yeah, never did. denied. Yeah, you never did. denied yeah, you did. him. Yeah, Why did you, did you sign the birth certificate? I wasn't at the hospital no, at the time. I had to go back to no, work. No, you did. You, you would did. have signed the birth certificate? Yes, sir, I would have. Well, there's time to sign a birth certificate, you know. You can always yeah. sign a birth certificate. You yeah. don't want to. If you're, if you're proven to be the father, you'll sign that birth certificate, won't you? Yes, sir, I would. If we prove that you're the father, all this yelling and screaming going to stop? It Definitely. Better. It better. Definitely it's going to be will. Over. Definitely it will. It When it comes to one-year-old Aiden, Josh. Don't change the channel. The shocking results are next. Josh. One wild New Year's Eve night has turned into two men taking dramatic DNA tests. Don't miss the moment the shocking truth is revealed. Who's the father of Paige's baby? Floyd, Philip, Mark. An hour of paternity test that will finally reveal the truth continues. The only thing that can save my relationship with my boyfriend Josh is a DNA test for my son Aiden. I wasn't with any other man when I got pregnant. Josh is listening to his ex-girlfriend who says my son isn't his. But that's bullcrap. He calls me a slut and a bug-eyed whore. I can't live like this anymore. Look at the ears. Did he sign the birth certificate? No, he didn't. He wasn't even there. I don't think Jay's son, Aiden, is mine. No matter how many times she tells me that he is. I know Jay was with another guy when we was on and off. I really hope that Jay isn't lying to me. I love that little boy and I want to be the father. When it comes to one-year-old Aiden, Josh, you are not... <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God. I know I know you thought he was. Okay. 
It was an honest mistake. But he's not the father. We'll be glad to help you if you want. Josh. Josh. I know, I know, I know you're in shock, okay? But she probably thought you were the father. Okay? You wanna say anything to him? I'm sorry. I thought he was. He needs a daddy. I've been with him since day one. No, no, no. You're kidding me. No, unfortunately, that's the, uh, that's, that's the reality. You don't have to be a birth father to be a great father. You know that. Paige is here with her mother. I don't care how many people my daughter slept with. Because after a wild New Year's Eve house party. This is a terrible situation to be in. No one will take responsibility for the child Paige conceived that night. Two men from that night are here with their girlfriend. But neither man thinks Paige's baby belongs to him. This son looks nothing like me. I don't believe her baby's mine. The DNA truth will be revealed next. When it comes to seven-month-old Landon. Who's the father of Paige's baby? Floyd. Philip. An hour of paternity test that will finally reveal the truth continues. I need this DNA test more than anything. I slept with Philip and Floyd in the same night. Now neither of them will claim my baby. That baby should not have to fuck. I don't care who's the father. Someone will take him. They should step up, but neither one of them think they're the father. That's why. around our area about Paige, they will all tell you the same thing. The girl had sex with more people than she can even count. I made a huge mistake hooking up with Paige. At the time, me and my girlfriend Jackie was on a break. Then I found out Paige is pregnant and saying I'm the father. You know, I've offered to pay for DNA oh. test, and every I'm time we have tried, she has ignored us, blocked us on Facebook and everything. Right. Come on with me. When it comes to seven-month-old Landon Phillip, you are not the father. When it comes to seven-month-old Landon Floyd, you are the father. learned he's not the father of Aiden. The fallout from these results continues after the show. So what are you gonna do? The answer to her incredible question is next. What are you gonna do? For more information on DNA paternity testing, call DNA Diagnostic Center at 1-877-DNA-CENTER. The DNA proved June was the father of Amanda's baby. Now Alicia is terrified. They're having a secret affair. He's played me before. He's a liar. He's okay. just my okay. baby's father. We get the truth. Be with her. Rose's psychic visions about Joseph's cheating were right. They're back again. No more, no more lies. Is he using his love van to cheat? That's a lie. That was a lie. The truth comes out on the next one. An hour of paternity test that will finally reveal the truth continues. You are not. Josh just learned he's not the father of Aiden. 
a child he's been raising with his girlfriend, Jay, for the last year. I know you're in shock, okay? After the show, Josh was still trying to come to terms with the truth about the paternity of Aiden. I hate his father. <laughs> I hate his father. And then Jay told executive producer Paul Fallhaber that she knows who the real father of Aiden is. Is he a good guy or is he a not a good guy? <laughs> He's a he maker. hasn't been around ever. He's a troublemaker. I haven't seen Trouble him. Maker. And now we got another baby with I know his mom. So what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I guess be there. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm sorry. We sincerely wish this couple the best of luck as they deal with this incredibly painful turn of events. You don't have to be someone's biological father to be a great dad. You don't have to. You can get past this. Until next time, America. The incredible drama on Mars. No more denials. There's only one way to settle this. It ends right here with the blinding truth. <laughs> Sam has taken three paternity tests for the children of three different women. You are, you are, you are not. <laughs> Sam's unbelievable saga continues. Incredibly, now a fourth woman has stepped forward to say that Sam is the father of her baby. No, 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 He's back again with one of those mothers who he's now dating. His fourth DNA test with a fourth different woman. Is this the last time you're going to be on the show? Will Sam's epic journey end today? Sam. For over a year, Derek has been looking for her baby's father when she finally saw him on the Maury show. I'm like, Did that's you say, my baby daddy. You said, that's Anthony? Yes. Anthony says she should keep looking. I'm not the father. But what will our set look like when the DNA results come out? Anthony? <laughs> Plus, Jessica drank too much in Las Vegas and had sex with two men on the same night. Baby ain't my baby. It's the hangover that's turned into a DNA test on the Mari show. The unforgettable results are coming up. JT, Carl. Shocking, scandalous DNA results next. Welcome back, Angie and her boyfriend, Sam. I say, I say welcome back. Because Sam and Angie have had a long, dramatic journey on The Maury Show. This is their third appearance. You see, Sam has been given three paternity tests with three different women who claim that he was the father of their children. Now, Sam... Sam is here for his fourth DNA test. But... Before we talk about this, we're going to look back and take a look at Sam's last appearances. Watch. The first time we met Sam, he came to prove to two angry women, Angie and Jamie, he was not the father of either of their kids. Why are we crazy? Because we have a lame-ass baby daddy. We don't do nothing. When it comes to 18-month-old Alex, Sam, you are the father. When it comes to 10-month-old Aiden, Sam, you are the father. Just a few weeks later, we were all shocked when Sam began dating Angie and came back to the show. This time, both Sam and Angie were denying this woman, Marissa's baby. Bitch! The one night stand that we had. Then went back to him. It doesn't matter! It doesn't matter! The results were in, and this time, we were shocked. Sam, you are not...
Okay, so that's when I thought I'd never see him again. But another woman has come forward. Her name is Leanne. And now Leanne claims that Sam may be the father of her baby, Sage Marie. No, 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 Marie, shut up. Her shut baby up, is almost two up. years old. Shut up, Angie. It's not your business, Angie. Angie, it's none of your business. Oh, Angie, Angie, of your business. You were not there three years, years ago, Angie. 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 You don't like her. No, go find her baby daddy. She needs help. Oh my God, I swear to God, that's why you are here. Everybody seems to want to pin your man with the baby. Who doesn't pin your baby? I don't know. I mean, look at him. He's a good dad. I guess they can't find their baby daddy. I don't know. Why would I want him? Is this the last time you're going to be on this show? This is the last time. Are there? Is there anybody else out there? But, as I understand it, Sam, there was a time when you thought you might be the father of this child. We slept together around the time before she got pregnant, but right. she was already with, she was with somebody was in a serious relationship. She was living with, with somebody. She was living with somebody. I mean, you don't know nothing because he wasn't there. Here's Sam's M.O. He gets with a girl, she gets pregnant, he thinks he's the father. Then he, he leaves. He's never the with her. It was sex. All they did was sex. Yeah, we was never well, together. Guess what? That's how you have babies, through sex. You think you look like that? He was there, he was in the back with me and Sam. He was there next to my baby. No, negative. What do you see? Nothing. I see three kids. Yeah, two of them that are his, one that's not. That's what I think. I think that Sam could be the father of three kids. Yeah. Yeah. Have you done anything for this child? No, why would he? Hey. Why not would at all. he? Why so, would I do anything for a child that's not mine? And she has a father already. I never asked you to do anything. I never asked you to do anything. She has the other baby last night. I want to find out what Leanne has to say, okay? This is what Leanne said. Whether Angie likes it or not, there's a possibility that Sam is the father of my daughter. I admit, I'm not absolutely positive that Sam's the father of my daughter. Sam is the one that said that he thought he was the father of my daughter. He's the one that pointed out all the features. He's the one that brought on all of this drama. He gets back with Angie, and now he's saying he's not the father of Sage Marie. It doesn't work like that. You can't just take back what you say. I don't care if my child interferes with Angie's make-believe future. If it's his child, he should take care of it. Whether Angie likes it or not, if Sam's the father, there's nothing she can do about it. I'm not going anywhere. Here's Leanne. Leanne, welcome to the show. Here's Leanne. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you, Maury. Is, could he be the father of your child? Could you see him? It's so good to see I said it's a possibility. I said it's a possibility. Oh, right. Well, did we have sex? Yes, we did. Did you have another man you was having sex with? I was you in a relationship with somebody. With on another my man. You played, on, played on my feelings. You played on my feelings. Talk about, oh, you did. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. So with Leanne, me. he's already accusing you of sleeping with me, and you played on my feelings. You laid up in a bed with me. Not the other way around. Leanne. I didn't come I to your house. For DNA. Wait a second. I didn't Leanne. come to your house. You Leanne. know what I'm saying? What's his M.O. about babies? He, he changes father, like right. the weather. By the way, Leanne says she's got something to tell you. What you got to say? So, you know, when you came on the show with Marissa? Yeah. Yeah, two days before that, he drove your car to come pick me up from oh! my dad's house. <laughs> I'm Mari because he's gonna come after yours too. Oh! That's how he is. That's how he is. But but Leanne even admits there's another possibility. I was, I was in a relationship. I was in a relationship. This lies. When did you get pregnant? Right when did you get pregnant? That is not when the way you wasn't with him at all. Your relationship ended a long time ago. Your relationship ended a long time ago. Your relationship ended a long time ago. The reason why. The reason why. The reason why. There's only 
one way, way to settle this. Right. Yeah. In the case of one and a half year old you Sage Marie, Sam, you are not. On to the next one. On to the next one. She might be here five more times. Good to see you, Sam. It's okay to be a whore, I guess. Right, right. You're the whore. You're the whore. For over a year, Derek has been looking for her baby's father when she finally saw him on the Maury show. I'm like, Did that's my baby daddy. You said that's Anthony? Yes. Anthony says she should keep looking. I'm not the father. But what will our set look like when the DNA results come out? Anthony? <laughs> Plus, Jessica drank too much in Las Vegas and had sex with two men on the same night. Baby ate my baby. It's the hangover that's turned into a DNA test on the Mari show. JT, Carl. Who's the father of Jessica's baby? It's the hangover that's turned into a DNA test on the Mari show. Who's the father of Jessica's baby? Everyone, this is Derek. Welcome, Derek, to the show. When Derek had told a man named Anthony she was pregnant with her now 16-month-old son, Darion, look at him. Aww. Guess what? Anthony vanished. Aww. And then, for over a year, she says she's been desperately trying to track him down. Aww. Then, guess what? One day, she's watching The Mari Show. Yeah. And there's Anthony. He's on the show. <laughs> denying two different women's children. So today, Anthony is back. Derricka says she's finally going to prove that Anthony's the father of her son. A few months ago, I turned on my TV, put on a Maury show, and I flipped out. The man that has been denying my baby was on a show denying two other kids. And the results was crazy. You are the father. <laughs> You are not. I've been waiting for almost two years to prove that Anthony is the father of my son, Darion. I don't know how he can turn his back on his own son. My son has to call my mother, Daddy, because Anthony is not around. Now that I found Anthony, he is going to take care of my son. Okay. Now, Derricka's mother, Angel, is also here because Angel says... She's been doing Anthony's job for the last two years, and now she is here. And in, fact, and in fact, according to you all, Darian calls her daddy, your mom. Yes, he has to call my mama daddy because he don't want to step up and be a man and take care of his son. You can't find him. I can't find him until one day I watch, I'm watching your show at 11, okay? I see, I see him on your show denying two other kids Right. I'm like, Did that's you say, my baby daddy. You said that's Anthony? <laughs> yes. Denied, denied two other kids. All right. Has he done something for you? Has, has he done something? No, he has not done nothing. I've been buying pampers and everything. He calls my mom daddy. My mama take care of him. My mama buys his pampers, take him to the doctor. You my think, son has you asthma. They, you think they look like Anthony? Maury. <laughs> look, Maury. Look. <laughs> So you all think he looks like him? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you know that's his baby. This is what Anthony has to say, why? I have two kids and I'm a damn good father, but I'm not taking no charity case today. Derricka was a Facebook hookup and a one night stand. I'm not the father. Derricka just now tell me about Darion. If I was the father, why did she tell me that two years ago? She saw me on the Maury show and just wanted her 15 minutes of fame. And she's going to get it when she had to come back and test another guy. I feel bad for Derek and her mom, but it's not my problem. They need to go check her Facebook page and test one of them guys. Derek's mom says she's doing my job, but she's not. You will see the truth's in the envelope. 
All right, everybody, here's Anthony. Anthony, come on out. What do you mean, check the Facebook? What does that mean? It's a thousand light skinned guys on there. Go check one of them light skinned guys. It's not me. You didn't even know about this child till what, three months Not ago? Not at all, Maury. I'm mean. tired of doing your job, okay? <laughs> When it comes to 16-month-old Darian, <laughs> Anthony, you are not. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. We'll be glad to test whoever you want to test, all right? Derica, it's going to be okay, we'll, Derricka. We'll do anything you want, Derricka, okay? okay? It's going to be okay. You're a great mom. I know you want to be there for your child. I know you want to find the father of your child, but it's not Anthony. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. Tiffany and Vincent have three children, but she was so fed up with his behavior, she went and slept with his friend Jimmy. Oh, boy. Who's the father of their youngest son? What's Jimmy, that? Vincent. What's, what's, what makes you so upset about this? Plus, Jessica drank too much in Las Vegas and had sex with two men on the same night. Baby ate my baby. It's the hangover that's turned into a DNA test on the Mari show. JT, Carl. <laughs> Who's the father of Jessica's baby? It's the hangover that's turned into a DNA test on the Mari Show. Who's the father of Jessica's baby? Everyone, this is Tiffany. Welcome Tiffany to the show. Now, <laughs> Tiffany, Tiffany and her boyfriend Vincent were together for eight years. They had three beautiful children together. I mean, the relationship is far from perfect, though, because Tiffany says Vincent is a controlling man. And at one point, Tiffany says, <laughs> Vincent's behavior became so severe, she found comfort in the arms of another man. <laughs> Vincent's friend, Jimmy. <laughs> then after that, Tiffany realizes she's pregnant. Now she is unsure if Vincent or Jimmy is the father of her now nine-month-old son, Vincent. This is her story. I was with Vincent for eight years, and we have two beautiful daughters together. Vincent started to change and started to control me. I felt like I was trapped in a cage. When Vincent and I had broken up, I had slept with Jimmy. I found out I was pregnant six months later. I don't know for sure if Vincent or Jimmy is the father of my son. Right now, I'm raising three kids by myself, and I shouldn't have to. If Jimmy's the father, I'm afraid my son is just going to be considered as another number to him because he already has eight other children. The only thing Vincent ever wanted was to have a little boy. And if this isn't Vincent's baby, it's going to break his heart. How many kids does Jimmy have? Eight. Eight kids. Oh, boy. Now, did you meet Jimmy through Vincent? Yes, they were friends. Originally, he was... So when you found out you were pregnant, you told both guys? Yes. So they knew all along that either one of them could be the father? Yes. Who was there for you during the pregnancy? 
Um, Vincent was. Vincent was. Yeah. Was he? <laughs> did he sign the birth certificate? No. He did not sign the birth certificate. Oh, no. Who do you think that child looks like? Vincent or um, Jimmy? It's hard to tell. He's got red hair and they both got blue eyes, so. You're mad at both these guys. Why? Because neither one of them are helping me. Neither one. But it's not just my fault. I didn't do it by myself. Okay. This is what Vincent had to say to my producers. Watch. Tiffany and I were together for eight years. We have two beautiful kids together. And I thought the relationship was great. I want to be Vinny's dad because I'm a good father. I'm a good dad. When Tiffany slept with Jimmy, who's supposed to be my friend, it broke my heart. I hope that I'm baby Vinny's father. Jimmy's a low-life scumbag. He's already got 11 kids. Why would he want to come into my life and wreck my family? Well, I always love Tiffany, but I'll never forget what she's done to me. I really want little Vinny to be mine. He would be my first boy, and I've always wanted a son. Everybody, here's Vincent. Vincent, come on out. You don't want to sit next to her? You were together eight years. You don't want to sit next to each other? No, sir. What's going on with you all? Oh. You all have at least two kids together, maybe three. <laughs> what is she, the matter with you? She just hurt me so many times, man. I don't, I don't know how to handle it. Oh. Like, literally ripped my heart out of my chest and danced on it, laughing at me the whole time. Did she tell you that she was with Jimmy, or did you find out some other way? I found out some other way. Oh. I said he had eight kids. You say he has 11 kids. What's the, st what's the story? From what I understand, Vinny will be his 10th kid. Nine. From what I've... Because her... Listen. I mean, you know... Listen. When her, you get up to those her, numbers, what's a few others? Listen. Uh, that's right. Listen. Her, her and this other girl got pregnant at the same time. Right, they got two kids that's exactly the same age, maybe like, a, what, two, three days apart? With Jimmy. With Jimmy. How do you get along with Jimmy? I used to think we were friends, and then I find out this stuff, and it's like, um... But wait a minute. Tiffany named Vincent after you. Because I'm a good dad, and she knows it. Tell you what, Vincent, take your chair, move it over there. And we'll bring out Jimmy. Here's Jimmy, everybody. Oh. Have a seat. Jump. Straight up jump. What's that seat doing there? Your home record. Why is it over there? Because he don't need you to don't be around You don't want him next or... to you either. He don't need to be around my kids or nothing. Yeah. You got enough kids, man. Come in. You got enough Come kids, in. man. Have a seat, bro. Thank Jimmy, you. Yeah. you don't think you got enough kids? You got to come in and ruin my life. She came in. She came in. You're doing your job as a man. Do you I wasn't doing. Well, I was with him for eight years. Well, she wasn't got two kids. Up. I wasn't doing my job. Yeah. 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 How long? Yeah. How long? How long you all your life? baby's moms. How Why long? What's your longest in? relationship? Five years each. Five years. Five years. Well, for eight kids, you got five seven, year relationship. Seven kids I had. I was just. Your business. Hey, I tried to get your business. I got kids, kids in college, boy. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Boy, she's younger than me. She's 23. How old are you? Right. Does it matter? 40 what? Does it matter? 40, it doesn't 40 matter. One? It doesn't yeah. matter to you? It doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter to you, does it, it Jimmy? It doesn't. That's right. Okay. You think you're the record. father of that child? <laughs> I have my doubts. I have a feeling Vincent would be there for his kids if you let him. Yeah! Because you're going to want that child to have a father in his life. A okay? good father that will be there. <laughs> when it comes to nine-month-old Vincent, Vincent, you are not. <laughs> and when it comes to nine-month-old Vincent, Jimmy, you are the father. <laughs> You 
better take care of that child. I'm going to. And all your others, Tiffany. Just, just go away. Act like a bad now, pal. I'm here now for the rest of it. No, you're not. Quite honestly, I am. Watch. Watch who's the daddy, Jim. Watch and see. Watch. See who he calls I daddy. I will. See who he calls daddy on I He already called me daddy. What do you mean? Oh. Ask her. She sent it right, right to me. Where's my son? Jessica drank too much in Las Vegas and had sex with two men on the same night. When I got home, I found out that I was pregnant. Baby ate my baby. It's the hangover that's turned into a DNA test on the Mari show. The unforgettable results are coming up. JT, Carl. Who's the father of Jessica's baby? It's the hangover that's turned into a DNA test on the Mari show. Who's the father of Jessica's baby? Everyone, this is Jessica. Welcome Jessica to the show. Okay, we all know what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Not exactly for Jessica. Because what happened in Vegas for Jessica has followed her all the way to the Mari show. Trip with her girlfriends to Vegas. Jessica had a little too much to drink. And regrettably had sex with this man, JT. And this man, Carl. In the same night. Now, Jessica, as a result of that, as a two-year-old son, John. There he is. Now, the problem is that both JT and Carl deny that they're Jonathan's father, and today, only a DNA test is going to uncover the truth. Watch. Two years ago, I went to Vegas to party and have fun with my girlfriends. One night, I went out to the club, and I met two different guys, JT and Carl. I got really, really drunk, and I ended up having sex with both of them in the same night. When I got home, I found out that I was pregnant. I called JT and Carl to tell them immediately that I was pregnant. They both said they weren't the father and changed their numbers. My son is two now, and both of these guys have done nothing to help me. They wanted to gamble in Vegas, and now they have to pay up. So, we've given JT and Carl and two-year-old Jonathan a paternity test. Jessica? Do you have any memory as to what happened that night in well, Vegas? Well, I went out in Vegas, and I was partying, and it was just me and my girlfriends. We were having a good time, and I ended up having sex with two guys in the same night. Who do you think your son looks like? I would say JT. Did you know these guys before you went to Vegas? Neither one of them. Oh, I see. Has either one of these guys been in your child's life? Neither one of them. For Nothing. two years, they haven't been in my child's life. What? I had to find Jonathan on Facebook. Who do you want to be the father, JT or Carl? Neither one of them. What, but you say one of them has to be. JT, I would rather. Okay. It ain't this my is what baby. JT ain't my baby. Say, That's not my baby. Man, I can't believe a drunken night in Vegas is ruining my life. This party girl named Jessica's trying to pin her baby on me, but I ain't doing a damn thing till Maury give me the results. The night I had sex with Jessica at the club, man, I was wasted. That night at the club, she was flirting with everybody. I know that girl had sex with someone else that night. When Jessica called me and told me she was pregnant, I told her ain't no way in hell that the baby's mine. And after that, she vanished, then popped up two months ago and tell me the same old story. If I find out the baby is mine, I'm gonna step up to the plate. But if not, I finally get rid of this nightmare one night stand from hell. Here's JT. JT, <laughs> can you remember that night? Yeah, I remember that night more. What happened? Man, I had some drinks. I, you know, you <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. But it, the baby ain't my baby, though. It ain't my baby. That's all I know. Were you the first guy she had been with that night, or the second guy? I couldn't even tell you the truth, really. She tried to contact you to tell you she was pregnant, right? Yeah, yeah he she changed his number me. and I had to find him on Facebook. 
JT, does that child look like you? Yeah, they do. This child do not look like me. Look at this. You know what I'm saying? That's not me. 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 That's me. That's not me. His hairline go way back here. Mine's right here. That's not my baby. That's not my baby. Do you know who Carl is? I think he was one of the dudes that was at the club that probably hit it in the bathroom. Carl has taken a DNA test, but he could not be here today. But this is what he had to say. Because he the daddy, that's why. Jessica is just a girl I had a one night stand with. Now I'm paying the price. I admit that I might be that baby's father, but I don't think I am. That night I had sex with her, I used protection. She had sex with another guy and me that night. If that baby's mine, I will step up and do the right thing. But right now, I cannot take care of a baby that's not mine. And JT, if you're the father, you would step up, right? Yeah, if I'm the father, I'll step up to okay. the plate and take well, care of my business. Yeah. When it comes to two-year-old Jonathan, it's the hangover that's turned into a DNA test on the Mari show. The unforgettable results are coming up. JT, Carl. She says the only reason Lance denies her baby is because his mother is brainwashing him. You just a liar, Whatever, shut up, shut up. It's the hangover that's turned into a DNA test on the Mari show. Who's the father of Jessica's baby? Now, the emotion that can best describe my next guest, Bonisha, is rage. You see, that's what she's feeling right now towards her ex-boyfriend, Lance, and his mother, Rhonda. You see, Lance and Rhonda are denying her nine-month-old daughter, Zaniah. In fact, Benicia says Rhonda brainwashed Lance into turning his back on his family. You're a liar, Benicia! Oh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, how has he been brainwashed? Good. Oh, now you're crying said, now, you right? Me, you would have been shot. Yeah. You know, she knows. You, you know he's the daddy of the night. Why you denied my baby? You was there through everything. You did all right, I was there. Benicia, 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 sit down, sit down, sit down. Benicia, now. Okay. You was my age. It could not be. Oh. Wait a second. Benicia, settle down now. All right. Whatever. This is what Rhonda had to say. Watch. Benicia is nothing but a lying, cheating, deceiving woman who had ruined my son's life for nine months. And it's going to end here now. When I found out Benicia was pregnant with my daughter, I was happy. I was ready to start a family. But she played me. I love my son to death, and I would do anything in my power to protect him from being taken advantage of. I wanted to believe Zanaya was my child, but she admitted to my mother that she DNA tested another man. To me, that proves she don't know who the father of Zanaya is. I'm stuck in the middle between my mother, who I love and trust, a baby who I truly believe was mad and really love, and a woman who's just a liar. When the test comes back that Lance is not Zania's father, I want Benicia to stay out of our lives once and for all. You should have listened to my mother in the beginning. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife, and she was right. Me the name. I'm back Here's to Rhonda. Start. Rhonda, come on out. Here she is. Rhonda, okay, whatever. be quiet. Rhonda, wow. In the beginning, She Rhonda. looked like the other guy. No, no I don't. Tell her again. Does she look like you? She looks like you. She looks like you. Like 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 Rhonda, see. Rhonda, in the beginning, you thought that was your You grandpa. are so right. I did. I was, I was behind this girl 100%. Then what happened? She came to my house, and she said that... 
I had took a paternity test. So of course, me being my Lance's mother, of course I'm going to say, okay, if there's another guy in, well, in, in, in the family, you did. You start denying the one. Uh, let her talk. We were still there for that baby. Okay. Well, what have you did? I asked you about my baby so perfect. What you say? After you found out. No. And you found out. Ronnie, whatever. Ronnie, if this is your grandchild, you gonna take care of this? Christmas? I will open her. I will. I, like I what did in the beginning. What happens if your What like happens if your What happens if your child wants to get back with her? That's on him. Lance is twenty six years old. He he Here's Lance. Lance, come on. Out. <laughs> Lance, you want this child to be yours? You, you Look, Murray, huh? I just want to, okay. I love this girl. I ain't gonna lie. You love, love this girl. girl. I love the baby. Look okay, at this. Okay, well, stop listening to your mama and be Murray, a man. She Murray. raised you to be a man. Murray. 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 Don't act like one. Don't act like one. Stop acting like one. You don't want to say that. Hey, 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 Venetia, okay, you, you gotta be quiet. Can I you gotta be quiet. Like, I, 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 I went against my own mama for this girl. I'll break my neck to do anything you ain't for that girl. You went against back. your mother for your Man, daughter. Man, she had daughter. me looking like a fool, Murray. Now, wait a second. <laughs> All right, you about to really look like because, a fool, both right. of y'all. Because of I what she told so. your mother? Yeah, well, another thing. I never denied Zania. I never denied Zania. I always had, I, okay, a couple of weeks ago, I had doubts. She, she told, telling everybody Do you want to be the father? Yeah, I look at her, Murray. That's my baby right there. I love that little girl right there. I never denied. I'm gonna find out right now. In the case of nine month old Zania, oh, Lance, the, the results are next. Will she prove Lance's mother wrong or right? Lance. It's the hangover that's turned into a DNA test on the Mari show. The unforgettable results are coming up. JT, Carl. It's the hangover that's turned into a DNA test on the Mari show. Who's the father of Jessica's baby? You know he's the daddy of Zanaya. Why you deny my baby? You was there through everything. You did right. I was there. That's why. Nothing but a lying, cheating, deceiving woman who had ruined my son's life for nine months, and it's gonna end here now. I wanted to believe Zanaya was my child, but she admitted to my mother that she DNA tested another man. To me, that proves she don't know who the father of Zanaya is. I'm stuck in the middle between my mother, who I love and trust, a baby who I truly believe was man's and really love, and a woman who's just a liar. I should have listened to my mother in the beginning. Turn a hoe into a housewife. I love this girl. I ain't gonna lie. You I love, love this girl. girl. I love the baby. Look okay, at this. well, stop listening to your mama and be Warren. a man. She Warren. raised you to be a man. You want to be the father? Yeah, I look at her, Murray. That's my baby right there. I love that little girl right there. In the case of nine month old Zania, Lance, you are the father. <laughs> have a beautiful granddaughter. Jessica drank too much in Las Vegas and had sex with two men on the same night. Baby ain't my baby. It's the hangover that's turned into a DNA test on the Mari show. The unforgettable results are next. JT, Carl. <laughs> it's the hangover that's turned into a DNA test on the Mari show. Who's the father of Jessica's baby? We all know what happens in Vegas stays Not exactly for Jessica, because what happened in Vegas for Jessica has followed her all the way to the Mari show. Two years ago, I went to Vegas to party and have fun with my girlfriends. 
One night I went out to the club and I met two different guys, JT and Carl. I got really, really drunk and I ended up having sex with both of them in the same night. When I got home, I found out that I was pregnant. I called JT and Carl to tell them immediately that I was pregnant. They both said they weren't the father and changed their numbers. Did you know these guys before you went to Vegas? Neither one of them. Man, I can't believe a drunken night in Vegas is ruining my life. This party girl named Jessica's trying to pin her baby on me, but I ain't doing a damn thing till Maury give me the results. Jessica is just a girl I had a one night stand with. Now I'm paying the price. If that baby's mine, I will step up and do the right thing. When it comes to two-year-old Jonathan, Carl is not the father. And when it comes to two-year-old Jonathan, JT, you are the father. I told you! I told you! I told you that you were the father! I told you! I knew that you were this whole two years that you changed your number and, and well, I had to find you on Facebook, was I, How was I supposed to know that? I had to find you on Facebook, though. But look how many you slept with. So what? Mm-hmm. <laughs>